I thought we'd do a quick run through of uh, just uh, some of the companies that are venturing on uh, capital raising initiatives at the moment, just looking at how successful they've been so far. Let's start off with Standard Chartered. It kicked off its rights issue last week, looking to raise two and a half billion shillings from its shareholders. Run us through the kind of response it's received so far. Well, I, I think it w it's going to be very well received and fully taken up. Standard Chartered's parent company owns more than 50% uh, within Standard Chartered Kenya. I can't see them wanting to dilute. These are the most well-held shares of the big five capitalization stocks at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. They tend to be tight, thinly traded. So I can't see uh, any risk of an undersubscription in this share. It's very small and I think it'll be fully taken up. The rights are also trading at the right price, about 80 to 85 shillings. Yeah, of course, so we've got that price coming at a 39% discount to a standard charter's uh, current share price on the bourse. To bear in mind that it is a smaller amount that's uh, going to be raised here if we compare it to the likes of uh, Kenya Commercial Bank and at a steeper discount. Uh, but looking at performance as a whole, what's your view on standard chartered and the fundamentals that, uh, you know, that bolsters this company right now? Well, they've really performed uh, very muscularly all through 2009, first half 2010. They're running at, at, at above 30% EPS growth through those 18 months. Um, they've obviously played to their strengths, the China-Africa axis, they, uh, and they seem to be running a very, very sound ship. I think in, you know, this is one of the banking counters that investors have been chasing. It's up over 100% over the last 12 months, and still on a forward PE basis, it doesn't look that expensive around 12 and a half. So I see it well supported. We did reach 299 when it got a little bit too frothy. We're back at 252, but I don't see much downside from here, Alicia. Of course, the capital is being raised uh, through this uh, rights issue to purchase the custody service business from Barclays Bank of Kenya. What are you making of that move and the way Standard Chartered is looking to expand or grow its business moving forward uh, You know, when it comes to this component of the business in particular? Well, I think there's going to be plenty of demand uh, for, for custody management of African equities. Um, you know, 51 out of the last 52 weeks, there was a net inflow into Africa equity funds. You know, we have a rising tide here, and I think Standard Chartered are just positioning themselves to get some of that fee income to balance the rest of their business. I see it as a win-win for Standard Chartered, actually, and I think investors are going to back it. The question is, why is Barclays letting go, though? Because, uh, you know, I've been reading uh, some commentary mm. and some uh, suggesting that it gives Standard, uh, you know, uh, the, the benefit of economies of scale, where it was going to be subpar for Barclays. Do you agree with that kind of sentiment? Yes, I was a little taken aback at, as to why they should look to uh, exit from that side of the business. I thought, you know, they've got such a good African footprint. This was a very neat fit. But obviously there must be some kind of capital requirement and they must have found the price offered too good to refuse. But I would prefer to be sitting on the standard chartered Kenya side and being the purchaser of this particular asset. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's just one of uh, the share price movements we'll be watching this, uh, this week, Ali Khan. What else do you have your eye on for the week ahead? Well, it's, it's been a very interesting market. I know the index is down about 5% from its 2010 highs, but we've had significant strength in certain counters. Scan Group is at a new all-time high as investors continue to look to gorge on this media company which has now got a sub-Saharan African footprint. Arthur River Mining has hit all-time mm -hmm. highs as well. And the, the banks, I think, are, are booking some gains out of the bond market. Because they can't buy other banking counters, I think they're moving into the industrial and allied sector. And hence, we're seeing these big blocks going through down there. EABL was the latest example on yeah. Friday. Yeah, well, certainly a Safaricom also making headlines uh, mm. this morning where it's announced that it's uh, venturing down a pretty acquisitive route from year on out. What are you making of that strategy? Well, I, I think, you know, the hyper growth curve is data. Voice is clearly commoditized and is probably going to price further, is going to go lower. So I think they're quite right to go for the high growth business where they have a, a lead and a head start. They're dominant in this business. It's all coming via the mobile and they've got, they've got those mobile customers in their pocket. So I think you know, this is just stating the obvious in many ways. They're in pole position and they're not going to allow anybody to dislodge them in the data space.